Oh my gosh, I'm back live again. I am so sorry, everyone. If you are catching this on the replay, that means that um, my stream crashed in the middle of the, let's see, we just got the notification that I'm live. Excellent. Um, it just crashed. It just totally crashed. Um, I am actually heading over to let everybody know it crashed. Started a new live. Sorry. All right. Well, hopefully everybody's finding this because now I can't post in there. All right. Well, uh, let's see if everybody catches on. Goodness gracious. I'm so sorry, everyone. This is <laughs> great. Monday live, everyone. I am so sorry, everyone. I greatly apologize. My computer just absolutely crashed. See, I obviously need to get a new computer <laughs> at this point uh, because my computer just decided to crash. Welcome back, everybody. It's Ian, the off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great evening. I, hopefully a better evening than what I'm having at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm going to give everybody just a few seconds to make sure that everybody ended up... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to give everybody a few seconds to make sure that they uh, are found the new one um, and all the notifications went out. I am so sorry. So incredibly sorry. This was not how I wanted this to go at all. Paula, thank you. That's okay. You can't control technology. You are 100% correct. This is, uh, this has been, this has been a fun evening. I'm gonna give it just another second, make sure that everyone ended up finding the live. I see six people here. I think people are starting to figure out that the old one is dead. I'm gonna have to go in and delete that one when it's all said and done with tonight. <laughs> oh boy, anywho, all right, let's go ahead and, <laughs> you're right, Julie, you are absolutely right. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this. We're gonna open up Cricut Design Space and we're gonna work, <laughs> goodness gracious. All right, let's see if I can figure out what I'm doing here. All right, so again, uh, if you caught this on the first part, we're using the uh, Cricut two by two mat, hopefully. Uh, and we're gonna be using the cutaway cards to do some design. So uh, I'm not actually sure where uh, the cutaway cards are. By the way, I can't see your comments at this very moment. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, figure out a way to see your comments, but I don't have any comments up at this very moment. So bear with me if I don't um, give you a shout out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little flustered, to be honest, after that, uh, after that, that little uh, snafu that we had there. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can find some... Card making. Okay, let's go to card making. I'm going to pull this up on my phone so that way hopefully I can see your comments. Which probably means that you will hear myself repeat here in just a second. Uh, but I want to want to make sure that I can see your comments. Let's go to card making. All right, there we go. All right. <laughs> Yo Petty G says, why does that song, You Spin Me Round, come to mind? No kidding. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy. Welcome back, uh, Becca. Appreciate y'all being here. All right, let's take a look at some of the cards that are available. Let's see, is there, can I, is there a specific? So I can pick a card, any card, so I can do birthday sympathy, anything like that. Is there one specifically for, okay, there's the square cutaways, which is not what I want. I want a cutaway card, but I want it to be in not the square. It's been so long since I have um, actually interacted with Cricut Design Space. So what I'm looking for is the cutaway cards that might be available. And I'm seeing a lot of the, um, is this one? Maybe this is one. Let's see. Let's see what all this has in it. Uh, let's see. 
No, this is not a cutaway card, it looks like. Maybe if I type away cutaway card in, let's see. These are my projects. I don't want my projects. Carissa says, this is fun. I've got the Cricut Maker uh, and have had it almost a year and haven't used it. Well, it is time to break it out and get to using it. I just, I'm having a little trouble because I felt like it would be easier to find the cutaway cards. Like I feel like there was a section specifically for cutaway cards and now I can't find any. Because if I click this create a card, it takes me uh, to something completely different and I don't want that. Let's see what is going on here because if you notice the ones that have the corner cut out of it that is um, those are for the um, insert cards and I want the cutaway card so I'm a little frustrated because it shows me my card mat here and it shows I can do a design, like I can do the square cutaway card, but it doesn't have it. Hmm. I'm just all kinds of fluff, fluster today. I have not, Carissa. I'll have to check that out for sure. All right, let me see. I'm also saying this is not, hmm. I also feel like this has, yeah, I'm a little frustrated to be honest. <laughs> Let's go to the canvas and see if I can get about that way. All right, so I've got my canvas up. Let's see, maybe under projects. Let's go to cards. Let's see if it, if we, okay. All right, we're getting a little closer. Feel like we're getting closer to it. Here's a neon smiley cutaway card. We've got a whole bunch of these uh, watercolor cards. What else do we have? Let's type into search cut away. Tiffany's here. Hey, Tiffany. She says she's going to be bouncing back and forth, and that's totally fine. All right, this is better. Okay. Now I'm starting to feel a little better. Um, okay, let's do... I always need birthday cards. Oh, wait, what was that one back there? Oh, that's a cancer card. I thought I saw... I literally thought I saw on the cancer card, I thought that was a um, cupcake. Um, oh, wait, here's a birthday one. That's pretty cool, but I like this other one better. We're going to go back um, and do It's Your Day. I think this one will be a great one to work with. So we're going to do, we're going to uh, make it. Let's see. I have the R40 cards. So let's make this. I do have Cricut Access. Um, 
So I'm gonna be using that to make today's card. All right, let's see. I want this on the card mat. So I'm gonna switch it over here under material load type. It's gonna throw it into there and I have the R40. So it's hopefully going to, there we go. And I'm actually gonna load up four of them. because I always need lots and lots of birthday cards. So there we go, it loads up all four onto my card mat. Now I do need to grab a pen. Um, do I have a pen already in my Cricut? Not sure, uh, we'll have to see. So I have the R40, here's my card. It is ready to continue. All right, and it's gonna try and connect to my Cricut Maker. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my camera over to my Cricut Maker. Let's go ahead and open that up, turn it on. Hi everyone, you can see me again. <laughs> Sorry about the mess earlier. Let me see if I have my, I usually keep pins stored in here and I do, this is the medium. And then I have the uh, point uh, four tip. Let me see. I think I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my medium tip for this one. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing Uh, let me get the cameras. All right, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I have my card mat and I know it's up to, upside down for y'all, but I need it, woo, I need it right side up for me so that way I can put everything on correctly. Woo, boy, that is uh, very sticky apparently. This is a light grip mat, you can um, tell because it has the blue on it and I can't get these out. <laughs> there we go, all right. So what do we got in this packet? We have our cards, we have some envelopes and we have the cutaway adhesive. Um, does it give instructions on what to do? Oh, yes it does, okay, so cutaway cards. It says to adhere backer, cut and weed to reveal design. So I guess what we're supposed to do first, doing this all on the fly. So inside of our card, we have this um, sticky paper on the inside. So what we're supposed to do is we have this foil in here. Hey Donna, welcome. Um, and what's supposed to happen is you peel this part away. Well, the paper's supposed to come off, but the... This is going great, guys. Love, love this. Totally love this. This is a honest and true reaction for sure. Hopefully. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I know that you can't really see it on camera, but what's happening is you see that shiny bit right there? There's, that part is supposed to stay behind. It is not supposed to come with the paper. So the paper comes off, you take your shiny piece and you put that face down. I promise you've watched one or two videos on this. And then it's kind of, it just sticks right there inside. That's what's supposed to happen. Didn't work very well the first time, but that's what's supposed to happen. All right, so I'm gonna do that 
three more times. So I've already got one set up. Let's do that three more times. Donna, I don't think they're going to give me a thumbs up tonight because of <laughs> computer crashing and uh, being so prepared for tonight's live. Uh, all right, there we go. So if you get any of these insert, or excuse me, these um, cutaway cards, know that it's a little hard to separate the sticky material from the um, backing paper. And uh, if you're not careful, you'll accidentally remove all of that sticky material. So don't do that. Don't do that. All right, so I did a green one. Let's do a blue one now. All right, so I got pink, blue, green, and then we'll do what color should I do a second one? Should I do another pink, another blue, or another green? Y'all tell me in the chat, let me know, should I do pink, blue, or green? Whoops, just threw some of the trash on the floor, it's fine. All right, there's another one. Still waiting for your comments to come in. Nancy says blue, so I'm going to go with blue. Let's do blue. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you so much for joining. All right, that one came off very easily. Why couldn't the rest be like that? All righty. There we go. Put that one on a little crooked, but that's okay. All right, so now I have all four of my cards. I'm gonna grab my two by two mat. And what we're gonna do is we want the side that has the um, piece of foil that we just put on. We want that one on top. And then we want the rest of the card underneath. So see how I'm able to take that and put it under Neath the mat, I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. And we want it as far over to the right as possible. And we also want it as far to the top as possible. And then we're going to close the card and stick it down. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to put this underneath. Oh, and I just got it stuck. And then I did everything just absolutely wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. This side needs to go on top, like I just said a moment ago. So that needs to go on top. All right. Do that again. Ooh, God, why is this not working? Uh, let's see, in the chat, come on. In the chat, I see Tiffany asking, other than cards, what do I like to make on my Cricut? Well, I like to make my quilt labels using infusible inks and my Cricut to make quilt labels for my quilts. I also enjoy, um, I like to do a lot of paper cutting on it, to be honest. Um, I do a lot of decorations, and um, I also have worked with vinyl on it. Um, it just really depends on what the project is. I've done a couple of t-shirts. Um, it really just depends. All right, so here is all my cards. They are on the mat. I'm gonna go back to my Cricut Design Space, and I'm gonna go ahead and select I know that y'all can't see. I'm honestly scared to go back over and show you all my screen because I'm really afraid something is going to go kaput. So hold on and bear with me just a moment. 
I'm just terrified that I'm going to kill the stream again if I open Cricut Design Space in the um, window. I wanted to do this on my computer so that way y'all could see what was going on uh, instead of on my mobile device because my mobile device would have worked so much better. All right, one thing that you are not able to see in Cricut Design Space right now, it's giving me a warning and it says to move star wheels to the center of the rail, making sure all align with the middle column of the card. So if I show y'all my camera, you can see me again, hello. So um, if you'll see on the mat here, it's asking me to put my star wheels right in the center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put my card mat on the machine so that way I can see where the star wheels need to be moved. So as you can see, I can just easily, semi-easily push them to the center. And it's not a great idea to move that, but um, it can be done if needed. Let's load it up. So see how my center, my um, star wheels are in the center now and I don't have to worry about them. All right. Hey, guess what? I have quilt labels as a maker, a Monday maker video. So if you go to my channel, uh, Carissa, you can actually go to my channel and check out one of my live videos where I made one. And then I also did a uh, very quick short video on how to make quilt labels using infusible inks. So make sure to go check that out. And if either Becca or Tiffany want to grab that video and throw it into the chat, that would be very much appreciated. All right, I also need to load my pen. So I'm going to load my pen. And it actually is asking for the 4.4 pen. I had the um, bigger pen, so I'm going to sneak into the drawer underneath and grab out my other pen. I thought it was asking for the medium and it was instead asking for the 0.4 tip. All right, there we go. All right, so I have my pen. It's telling me I need my pen. I need my fine point blade, which is loaded and it's giving me the blinking cricket button. So we're gonna go ahead and press that and it's gonna start cutting all four. It's gonna go ahead and start drawing and then cutting all four. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Tiffany just put into the chat the uh, YouTube link for my uh, quilt labels video. There it goes. I was getting scared for a moment. All right, so now what's going to happen is the Cricut is going to go ahead and start drawing out the card um, because this card uses both the pen and the blade. So it's going to draw an image first and then it's going to go ahead and cut it all out. So we have a little bit of time to chat. How's everybody doing? How's your Monday? Hopefully better than mine as we have seen my live stream crash today. <laughs> Hopefully you are all ready. If you're in the United States, hopefully you are all ready for Thanksgiving. I know I definitely am. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, visiting with Becca. It's interesting. I noticed uh, that I tend to travel on Thanksgiving or for Thanksgiving at least. And I end up with YouTubers because I also used to visit the Art Sherpa uh, when she was living in Houston. I would go down for Thanksgiving to spend it with her family. And it's interesting that this year I'm going to be going to another YouTuber's house. So what can I say? It's a whole, we're, we're a great bunch of community friends, right? Uh, it's a lot of fun and I'm super excited. This is going to be my first trip to DC and I'm so excited. We're going to, Becca and I were talking about plans for what I wanted to do and all that kind of stuff. And I definitely want to look around uh, DC a little bit, see a couple of the national monuments. Uh, go to the Space Museum, do all sorts of fun stuff like that. So I'm super excited about my trip. 
Craft a Simple Life says, hi and good evening, Ian. Love seeing your pre progress pride flag in the background. Yes, what happened in, in Colorado is absolutely uh, disgusting. And I'm very tired of seeing it happen over and over and over again. So I felt it appropriate to put up my progress pride flag for tonight's broadcast. It was a Monday for sure. Nancy says it was a Monday for sure, but ended great. I'm here. You are so kind, and I'm so glad that you are here today as well. I don't know why my cricket is just deciding to just stop and not do anything for a second. I don't know what's going on, but... Hey, MWB Arts is here. Mark and Stephanie say hello. Hey guys, welcome. So glad that you are here this evening. Guys, go check out their channel. They are a blast. Uh, Stephanie has been doing some really incredible uh, hand drawing art that she shows you how to do yourself as well. Uh, make sure to go check out her channel, Deliberately Creative. Uh, it is a great, uh, it's great to check that out. I'm gonna see if I cannot blow up my computer and grab her link really quick. Um, and I'll drop it into the chat here momentarily. But I'm so glad to see y'all and I am so glad that you are here and we, we need to do a phone call soon. It's been a while. Uh, creative. Let's see if I can spell it correctly the first time. There we go. I'm gonna grab her link Let's see if I did it right craft a simple life says a hundred percent not a great way to end trans awareness week uh, my love and support to the community thank you so much greatly appreciate it yeah that was not how the end of um, trans awareness week should have gone and I um, it's very, very disappointing and very hard, hard for sure. Uh, having a, have a great time in DC. I went up there for my first time in June with a school trip and it was fun, excellent, I'm so glad. Kim says, I, it's very sad, I'm sick of all the violence, I could not agree more. Um, for some reason it is I'm like signed out in my streaming software, so I can't just plop something into the chat. So I'm gonna pull it up here on my computer and drop it into the chat here, which means you're probably gonna hear me for half a second as either that or you're gonna hear an ad. I don't know which of the two, uh, but it's me. All right, so I'm gonna put that on pause and I'm gonna drop this into the chat. All right, so there is Deliberately Creative, Stephanie's channel. And then, uh, let me see if I can grab Mark's channel. You can also go to his uh, chat message there and you can uh, get to his YouTube channel from there. But I'm gonna go ahead and copy it really quick and prop, plop that into the chat. I can't talk tonight like everything else. It has just been all over the place. All right, so this may be taking like five hours tonight. We're gonna have to see what happens. I was not expecting it to just like sit and look at me and be like, what do I do? So this is going to be the um, very fun part of tonight's live as we just sit and wait. I probably should have just done one card. That should have been, that should have been what I did. But instead I was like, let's do it all and go for all for it one time. Great idea. Really great idea, Ian. Oh man, it's just, it's just one of those nights. It's just, one of those nights, isn't it? Let's see, um, maybe we can entertain ourselves other ways and look at the, um, I'm gonna come back to my streaming software. 
maybe. Awesome. Nancy says subbed to both. Thank you so much. And uh, oh, there's deliberately creative. There's Stephanie. Welcome. Of course. Thank you guys for being here tonight. And Carissa says subbed and saved your label video for viewing later. Awesome. I'm so glad that you did. Let's go to my close up camera. So these are the other two uh, cards uh, that I bought. The, ooh, uh, can I get it in the camera? There we go. Go big or go home, right? Ain't that the truth, craft a simple life. Uh, so these are the foil transfer insert cards. I'm actually gonna open this up because I've done, whoops, where is it? I also love that this has 30 of the um, insert cards. I always need birthday cards. And so I'm very glad that I will have a lot. Uh, will not be doing those on live tonight, but uh, they are great to have. Let's take a look at, this is the foil trans, foil, wow. Foil transfer insert cards. Let me see if this is what I think this is. Add shimmer and shine with a foil. foil blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Add shimmer and shine with foil transfer sheets. So this is an insert card. Basically what happens, you know how I said a moment ago uh, that, oh, oh, I see. Okay, so these are cards that use foil. So you can actually use, there's a tip that has foil um, and you use this sheet with that. So what it does is it'll actually, the Cricut will cut the card and then you use the foil. Why is this smaller than the other ones? I'm just looking here. Look, this yellow card is shorter than the other ones. That's very strange. They're all supposed to be um, four, and a half, four, four and seven fives inch by 6.6 .6 inches. And I think they cut the yellow ones too short. Cause look, it's a good quarter inch shorter than all the rest. Well, that's silly. Anyways, um, basically the Cricut will cut out the design. It will use the foil um, to do the foil uh, foiling on the front of the card and then you insert this uh, metallic sheet behind. You actually open up the card and stick it uh, behind. Oh. oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Oh, I know, I understand now why. <laughs> because this isn't actually a card, it is just a piece of paper. These are the actual cards. These are the actual cards. So you can either choose to have the metallic rainbow be what shows through, or you can choose the, because uh, these are the same size. Yes, they are. Okay, so that's what it is. So this is just the insert that gets put inside of it. All right, wow, Ian is doing a great job tonight on live for everyone to see. It's been a day, guys. It's been, it's been a day. I am uh, very glad Monday is over. And we're going to be moving on to Tuesday and then Wednesday and then we get a holiday. That'll be good. So that's what that is. This does include the foil sheet so you can do the foiling on it. Um, and I assume that it has the, um, I assume a lot of things. <laughs> oh man. Stephanie from Deliberately Creative says, I'm so basic with my Cricut basically cutting stencils and stickers. That is not a bad thing at all. That is not a bad thing to do. Uh, that is a great way to use your Cricut. And if you, if that's the only thing that you did with your Cricut, that is totally okay. It's, it's all okay. It's whatever you want to use it for, right? Uh, Tiffany says, interesting. <laughs> Tiffany says, yep, I'm confused, but it's Monday, so I blame the day for confusion. Becky says, hey everyone, Tiffany, I have the scan and cut instead of the Cricut and it sits in the box in the garage. <laughs> Becky, get it out and use it. When I was 
making more cards more frequently, I wanted a cut and scan because then I didn't have to purchase the dies every time I got a new stamp set. I could just stamp it onto a piece of paper and then use the cut and scan to add the little border and do all of that. I never ended up purchasing the Brother Cut and Scan, which is honestly probably pretty good because I don't know where I would put it right now with everything. Like, I just, I don't know where I would put it, but yeah. Tiffany, do you have the Cut and Scan? I can't remember if you have a Cut and Scan as well. Let's go check out the Cricut really quick. And as you can see, we are barely even trekking along. Great choice, Ian. Great choice. I can tell you I'm probably losing viewers by the moment. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's fine. This is fine. Becky says, I did use it for applique stuff uh, at one time, but decided uh, I cussed too much doing applique. <laughs> That would be me. This is why I do not do applique because I would probably cuss too much. Tiffany says she does not use any of those machines. I just use the machines that, I, that have needles. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, over the weekend, I worked on a project. It, it was a paper piecing project um, and it's sitting right behind the camera. And I really wish I could show you because honestly, I feel like today's live is very much the same energy and I wish I could show it to you, but I'm going to hold off a little bit longer because I just finished the quilt top. It's not even a full quilt and it's a mini. It's not very big. It's only about like yay big, uh, but I really want to finish it before I reveal it to everyone. So I'm going to hold off, but like remember when you go on to my Instagram account in uh, down the road, whenever it may be, and you see this mini quilt get posted on my Instagram, you'll be like, oh, now I get it. Now I see it. Trust me, you'll understand. <laughs> Craft a Simple Life has the Cameo 2. And Becky says, the Cricut seems to be more versatile machine and supplies are easier to come by. I agree with that. Um, except it feels like Cricut's supplies get rotated out very quickly. So like they come out with a new product they're all about it for all of two seconds and then it disappears and you never see it again. So like um, we had the Cricut foam. I have a video up on my YouTube channel using the Cricut foam and that was there for a hot minute and then it was gone and never found again. So um, it seems like Cricut really rotates through products pretty quickly. They do have their staples, vinyl, um, infusible inks, a uh, few things like that. But it seems like it just like rotates out really, really quickly and it's never to be seen again. So that's what I'm, uh, that's what, that's the only thing that I don't like about Cricut. Cause I, even just trying to find today's cutaway cards, you saw, well, you saw how hard it was for me to find those through Cricut Design Space. And this is a product that I feel should be pretty easy to find. And it took me a good five, 10 minutes there to find it. Pat says, joining late. I've used my Cricut Maker for raw edge applique and EPP. Excellent. Welcome, by the way. So, I don't know. I like Cricut's products a lot. I think they work the best for me. Um, and they are... Stephanie says, Cricut is like fast fashion on a trend for a cycle and then it's out. Absolutely. That's very much how it feels with Cricut, unfortunately. And that's the one thing that I hate is that good products that I like to use in one moment, gone the next, and I never find it again. Carissa says, Becky, there are a ton of Cricut cuts uh, for sale on the marketplace if you want one. Uh, you can maybe check it out in your area. That's a good idea. Becky says, I'm still in love with quilting and getting better at using a rotary cutter. That is one thing that I do love about the Cricut. Um, I've not used the Silhouette. There's a Silhouette 4 out. I've not used it to cut fabric, so I have no idea 
um, about how easy it is or you know all the things about that. I do love using my Cricut to cut out fabric. I do have the rotary blade for it. It makes cutting fabric so much easier. I will 100% tell you if you're interested in a cutting device for cutting fabric, Maker is the way to go, at least in my opinion, uh, because it does make things so easily. The only restrictions you have to remember is the biggest mat you can get is a 12 by 24. So if you are trying to cut anything larger than 12 by 24, uh, you're not able to do that. It doesn't even officially cut at 12 inches. The largest you can cut is 11.5 because it wants to give you a little bit of a border to make uh, make sure that any it ha you have a little wiggle room is basically what it is. And so that wiggle room uh, cuts you down to about 11 and a half. A lot of people don't like that. I understand why they do it. And um, it sucks that that's the case, but it is for the most part there just to make sure that everything cuts properly and you don't end up cutting something else off that you didn't mean to. Um, so I highly recommend checking out the Cricut Maker. If you are interested in cutting fabric, it is, in my opinion, top notch and makes cutting so much easier. And Cricut Design Space does have some great designs for cutting fabric as well. They have some built-in patterns. And then they also have your half square triangles, they have squares, um, and if you need to make a lot of squares quickly, you can definitely use that. Um, Carissa says, I'm a quilter, but I have the Maker 2. Sheila says, should your Cricut machine be moving that slowly on cards? Sheila, that is a great question, and the answer is no, it should not. I put in four cards because I thought it was going to work a lot faster, and I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. Part of me thinks it's because I'm streaming right now, and so it's having a hard time going out to the internet and coming back quickly, and so instead it does this lag for whatever reason, uh, yeah. Um, let's see, Tiffany says, my mom has a Cricut, and if you and Becca have something of uh, something of the sort, so if I need something, I'll ask it for you. Yeah, it's true, you have a lot of resources, so you're able to get what you need if, uh, if you need something. Um, Becky says, cutting devices are great and good for applique piecing, that is correct. <laughs> Kim says, I love my maker and I love that it cuts fabric. So do I. Remo says, good evening. Have the maker and, uh, excuse me, have the maker go big and a cut and scan. Very cool. Oh, Becky says, I, I know someone that uses a Cricut to make stencils and paint on quilts. That's very interesting. I didn't realize that people painted on quilts. I'm gonna to have to Google that after we're done tonight. Carissa says, I bought 15 different rolls of vinyl and the sticker stuff from the Dollar Tree and just play with it to see if I hate it or not. That was a good plan. Dollar Tree is a great place to get your very basic supplies for cheap. Uh, it is not great quality, but if it's something that you, like if you're just wanting to play or experiment, that's probably a good, good way to do that. Well, it has made the top half of the sunflowers. <laughs> I think these are sunflowers. So we're, we're, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. We might be able to finish this in the next two hours. We'll see. <laughs> oh boy. Becky says, uh, fabric paint, it was a big pride quilt for a, an event locally. Oh, that sounds really cool. Tracy says, yes, you can. You can either use fabric paint or acrylic paint for a fa with a fabric medium. Very interesting. I'm definitely gonna have to Google that and take a look at that. I would Google it now, because we have the time. Lord knows we have the time, apparently. But I'm scared I'm gonna crash my stream again, so I'm gonna hold off on that. Well, 
Well, it's uh, eight o'clock, so that's good. Let's uh, hopefully, maybe it might go a little faster, maybe? Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. This is just, I would switch it to my phone, but I've already started it, and if I cancel it, then I'll, uh, I just don't know. Should I cancel it? Should I go ahead and cancel it and, and just do the one card? I don't know. I don't know if I should or not. Or, or do we just want to sit here and keep chatting? Because this is all I was going to do this evening was do these. Safe. All right, so I just made the previous, the, the stream that crashed, I made that private so that way nobody gets confused. Uh, Pat Strawhouse says, Ian, looking for a really good product for outdoor decals. Any suggestions? Uh, permanent vinyl. If you're looking to do it with um, uh, cutting, like a cutting machine, I would recommend outdoor vinyl. Uh, outdoor vinyl does really well. Uh, I would choose, um, there's a specific brand that I'm thinking of and for some reason I can't remember the name. Outdoor vinyl. Oracle, Oracle vinyl 651. Uh, that works the best for outdoor. It is very weather resistant. Um, and it's, uh, it's easily obtainable. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it from a lot of different places. Um, so I would recommend that if you're looking to use a cutting machine to do an outdoor, uh, decal. Tracy says, keep chatting. No sense in starting over. <laughs> Becky says it's Monday. What else do we have to do? Uh, I mean, dishes, but nah, <laughs> I'm with you on that one. I actually have, my sink is full of dishes right now. I, because I'm the only one that lives in my apartment, I will put my dishes into the sink and then forget about them, I guess. Uh, when I was living with a roommate, I was very meticulous about making sure to put the dishes into the dishwasher. But since I'm the only one here, I'm kind of like, meh, it's fine. Um, and I uh, honestly forgot to do the dishes last night. So I will have to run the dishwasher tonight. Uh, in fact, once I finish the live tonight, I'll have to load up the dishwasher and run the dishes. So that's, that's what's gonna happen. Tiffany says, talk away. I'm online shopping while I'm watching you. Awesome. Uh, I haven't done, uh, Remo says, I haven't done cards. Thanks for the lesson. Awesome, I'm so glad. Uh, Carissa says, I don't wanna spend big money if I don't like doing it. Very true. And Tracy says, uh, wouldn't marine vinyl work better? That would uh, or work also. Yes, you are right. It would work as well. So you could do either. Outdoor is, uh, I think, a little cheaper, maybe just a hair cheaper, because the marine vinyl, I think, uh, is more expensive because it is a little more hardy, I guess. But if you're looking to do, if you're just looking for something to go outdoors, um, outdoor vinyl should work just fine, but if you really want something like solidified and going to stay there forever and ever and ever, then yeah, marine vinyl would be the way to go. Pat asks, outdoor vinyl with infusible inks for the decals. Unfortunately, you can't use infusible inks with the, decal with the uh, vinyl because the vinyl would heat up too much and melt. Like you need 400 degrees, about 400 degrees in order to get the infusible ink onto the uh, vinyl. So most of the time what people do is if you have a multicolor design, then you would have to cut each color out of the vinyl. Um, if you're looking for a sticker that is like printed, um, you might want to look into a service that does it instead. Um, places like Sticker Mule, you might be able to, to contact them and find out if they have a, have a sticker uh, plan that you, not plan, but like a sticker that you can purchase that is rated for outdoors. 
remember that any sticker that you buy from any company, not just Sticker Mule, but anywhere, um, the sun will degrade it over time. It especially depends on the color. If it's a multicolor one, your red inks will um, actually uh, uh, fade uh, fastest, but any, any inks will fade over time. So a lot of people use uh, the, the vinyl to do it because they don't fade as quickly as like an ink printed onto a sticker, if that makes sense. Um, Jackie from DBD Stitch Art says, doing dishes while listening, uh, by hand, no dishwasher. I don't know that I could live anywhere that doesn't have a dishwasher. <laughs> I actually house it for my friends sometimes, and when I do that, their dishwasher is broken, and so I, um, have to hand wash my dishes, and I, I'm kind of, like, I, I, uh, am happy to go house sit and dog sit for them, but I'm always like, oh, right, I have to do my own dishes. Oh, man, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, Tracy says, thanks, Tracy Albert, or excuse me, Pat says, thanks, Tracy. I didn't know that there were marine, vi that there was, uh, marine vinyl. It's for a camper decals. Very cool. Yeah, that's the way, if you're, if you're looking to do like a printed design of some kind, um, that would be hard to cut out of multicolors and, and layer and all that kind of stuff, I would definitely do a sticker service of some kind. Um, I know there's gotta be sticker services out there. You just might have to purchase more than one in order for them to do it. I don't know. Uh, I know Sticker Mule, you can create like lots of stickers for very cheaply. <laughs> Carissa says, I live alone and I'm, uh, I'm the dishwasher. Dishes are waiting till tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Pat says, yes, uh, I've layers. I've layers of out, outdoor vinyl one to make the, uh, printed decals. I've tried a few from online sources, not really happy with the outcome. I'm sorry to hear that, Pat. That's honestly my best guess. Um, I, that, that's kind of the advice that I would go with. Um, I have a couple of stickers on the back of my car, um, and I bought several stickers, so that way when one fades, I can slap the next one on. I have one sticker that is a Dutch Bros um, sticker. Every first Wednesday of the month, they put out a new sticker, um, and I have one of those stickers on the back of my car. It actually was from Halloween, last, I think it was last year, Halloween last year, or maybe it was a year before. No, I think it was last year. Anyways, I have a sticker from them on the back of my car and it's lasted a year and done just fine. It's starting to fade, so I'm probably gonna replace it soon. I also purchased some stickers from Redbubble um, and they have done really well. They've done, uh, they've gone about a couple of years, like two or three years, and they've been doing okay. I, I've, they're starting to fade, so I will have to replace those soon as well but um, I've been very happy with the, su the success of those stickers so far. Kim says, my 15 year old does the dishes. She's the dishwasher then. She's the dishwasher, there you go. Uh, Tiffany says, we have no dishwasher. We wash after we use and don't have any pile up dishes that way. I, yeah, I'm definitely bad about that. When I stay at my friend's house, I do typically wash every day though, so that way it doesn't pile up on me. Deliberately Creative, Stephanie says, uh, all good info about stickers. I have used my Cricut for print and cut and I used waterproof vinyl sticker paper that is really waterproof. Two years on a mug that's washed a lot and doing well. Oh, there you go, Pat, there you go. There's a great tip from Stephanie. Uh, she says that the uh, sticker paper and then the waterproof vinyl works. So you might be able to give that a try. Thank you, Stephanie, appreciate that. Uh, Stephanie says, I get the sticker paper on Amazon. Thanks for sharing that tip. That's, I didn't even, uh, I didn't even think about that. I honestly didn't even think that the, uh, waterproof vinyl, uh, sticker paper worked all that well, but it's really great to hear that it does work well. So Pat, that might be something for you to look into. Yeah, Stephanie, you can't use any um, sticker paper in a laser printer. 
uh, because it will not work. It actually can, it's not exactly melt the paper, but it doesn't work so well. And we're just now on the bottom of these sunflowers. So we got some more ahead of us. I feel like I need to put up like a tap dancing video or something. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> it's because I'm streaming, that's what's happening here. Let me check on Cricut Design Space really quick. Uh, Cricut Design Space says that we are at 13%. We're at 13%. Goodness gracious. Uh, Stephanie, uh, Pat is asking, do you know the brand I've tried a couple from Amazon? Hopefully Stephanie will reply back with what brand she uses. <laughs> Tracy said, no, that would slow it down more if you added something else. Very true. Very, very true. Why did I decide to go big or go home with four cards? I, could have, I should have just done one and we probably could have been done by now. It's also very interesting to me how the Cricut decides to draw elements because it's taking more time to go back and forth between these two cards instead of doing one and then moving to the next. And I don't know, I don't understand, excuse me, I don't understand the reasoning behind the things that it does, but what can I say? <laughs> Becky says 13%, absolutely, like 13%, wow. 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 Um, that's about how far into the, my dishes I got before I sat down. <laughs> that's funny. That's really funny. Tracy says, although Ian, you can dance for us. There you go. Uh, Stephanie says, yes, Mr. Label waterproof vinyl sticker paper. Uh, check that out, Pat. See if that's one that you've already tried. I am back, Mona. I was back a while ago and things have just been all over the place. <laughs> we are currently waiting for my cricket to decide that it actually wants to, uh, work at a normal speed and instead it just sits there and takes a takes a coffee break every few seconds. To be fair, I am streaming which is taking up a lot of computer computing power and so it, it's taking it a, a, a hot minute to uh, to work. So that's why it, that's why it's a little slow right now. So no fault to Cricut, this is my doing because I am streaming and that software is taking away resources. I'm just looking over at it. Let me see if I can grab this camera. Can I, oops. Nobody, if you have motion sickness, hold on. So that's, that's as far as we've gotten guys, right there. That's as far as we've gotten to this point. Yes, it is, Becky. This is the Cricut 2x2 mat. So it's actually um, 
using the card inserts, there we go, um, it's actually using the Cricut 2x2 mat to do all this. So what's happening is there's, uh, a, when the Joy, the Cricut Joy came out, it had a card mat for it. And everyone was saying, oh, I wish I had this for the Maker or the Explore machine or any other machine other than the Cricut Joy. So Cricut said, hold my beer and watch this. And so they came out with the Cricut 2x2 mat so you can make four cards, up, uh, up to four cards at the same time. And that's what I was trying out today. And it's just been a train wreck. It's just been a train wreck of technology today. Don't know why, uh, but it's just been all over the place. So that's, that's what's happening. It is a pretty design. It is a very nice design. I just wish it would go faster. <laughs> and I wish there was a way that I could, you know, not have it take a million years. But it's okay. We're going to get through this. I'm so tempted, guys, to just cancel this cut. Like, it's been, what, 30 minutes, and we haven't even completed. We're at 16% now. So we went from 13% to 16% in about 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. Like, I'm very tempted to just say, forget it. Let's just do one. because it just keeps sitting here like this, doing absolutely nothing. What are you waiting on? Do something. Um, let's see. <laughs> Becky says, I Googled the new mat and it says faster than the old mat. Back, uh, Becky, for, to be fair to Cricut, my computer is running slow because I am running the streaming software. So this is not Cricut's fault. This is, this is my fault for running too many things on this computer at once. Kim says, would it help to uh, if you plugged your machine into your computer so it's not using the Bluetooth? That would probably help, but I'm literally out of USB ports because all the setup that you see here, um, I have no more USB points, USB uh, to use, unfortunately. So I should have thought of that before I got started tonight, but unfortunately I don't have any more USB outlets. Uh, Stephanie says, when I make stickers, I've tried both covered and not covered with clear laminate label. Uh, they worked both ways just fine. Less expensive too, not to put the clear that Less expensive to not put on the top clear label. Becky says, oh, I know. My scan and cut is the same. Next time, absolutely, next time. I wanna at least get one for y'all done tonight so that way y'all aren't just like, wow, Ian, wow. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. Like it's taken far too long to just even do these two. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get one done before the end of the live. Cause I would like to go to bed before midnight. <laughs> It's a beautiful card, it really is. It's just, uh, just, just running real slow, real slow. Sheila says, you'll have to let us know what time the cricket finishes, absolutely. 
<laughs> Mona says, good thing I brought the popcorn to the show. Abso freaking lootly, right? Jeez. I could literally be doing another project for y'all. I, I just had this project because I thought this would take up the time and be great. And here we are. Beverly says that I just got here. What's going on? What is that? Today, we are working with the cutaway cards from Cricut. This is the Cricut cutaway cards. I'm using my Cricut Maker and the brand new uh, Cricut 2x2 card mat to create cutaway cards using that mat. It's running a little slow, my Cricut is. Uh, my Cricut is running a little bit slow because my streaming software is taking up a majority of the computer space and so it's, it's slowing everything down, causing the Cricut to be a lot slower than it should be. It normally does not take this long. This is completely my fault, not Cricket's fault. Don't, don't go over to Cricket's social media and be like, I saw on Ian's live, your Cricket was running so slow. How dare you, blah, blah, blah. No, no, don't do that. It's my fault completely because the computer is overtaxed and I'm trying to run both the streaming software and my Cricket at the same time. So it's a bit slow. My bad. Becky is waiting for her grandson to get cranky and then I'll have to put him to bed. Tracy says, well, it's taking up the time. It's very much taking up the time. Uh, Tiffany says, you should res uh, resume the live from your phone and let the computer have uh, the cricket. Uh, can I do that? Uh, I have the time. He's drawing on his fresh, <laughs> oh no. Becky says, I have time. He's drawing on his freshly bathed legs with a Crayola marker. Uh-oh, does that mean he gets a second bath today? Um, Paula says, I took my pain meds, headed to bed. Have a good night. Patty G, yo, Patty G, says, each design gives you a time limit. Uh, no, it does not. It just gives me an estimation on how long it's going to take. And apparently this one's taking longer. Um, I'm very interested if I can resume a live from a mobile device because we may do that. We might, we might do that. How do you do that? Uh, Tiffany, how do you resume from mobile? Becky says, no, nah, it's non-toxic, he'll be okay. Absolutely, I was just more concerned about, do you have to give him another bath tonight because he has markers all over his legs? <laughs> all right, let's see. I'm gonna go grab my iPad because the iPad has more battery. My phone is almost dead. Let me grab the iPad. Because if we can switch over to the mobile device, that may work. Let's find out. Because then I can give the computing power back to the computer. Uh, let's see here. You just won't get all my fun um, camera angles after that. Oops, you hear me. I think you can press go live from your phone and click on this live and it should swap. I've done it once. Um, it is so far not letting me do it. Let me see if I'm missing something. Because I would really love for this to not take all night long. It'd be great.
don't think don't think that'll work unfortunately let me see hold on I'm gonna look over here on my computer I know, I am too. Becky says, I'm curious to see if it speeds up. It's a science experiment, absolutely. Looking at my options over here, hold on just a second. I'm looking, I'm looking, we're now at 19% done. Let me see here. I did schedule it from Streamlabs. Well, actually I went live in Streamlabs. Stephanie says, going to be watching from the TV. I need to get one more holiday design drawn up in a new downloadable holiday template coloring pages pack. Awesome. That sounds good, Stephanie. Thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Yeah, Tiffany, do I just... It's, I don't know if... Because I started this in Streamlabs, I'm not sure if... That may be why I can't switch it over... Uh, that may be why it's not letting me do that. 